medieval knights and chivalry. The institution of knighthood and the code of chivalry were defining aspects of medieval society. Knights were revered figures embodying the ideals of honor, courage, and loyalty. Today we'll explore the world of medieval knights, their role in society, the code of chivalry they upheld, their training, armor, weapons, the significance of heraldry, their influence on literature and art, and their enduring legacy. The concept of knighthood emerged in the early medieval period as a response to the need for skilled warriors. Knights were typically mounted soldiers who served the nobility and the king. Their main responsibilities included military service, protecting the realm, and upholding the ideals of chivalry. The code of chivalry was central to the ethos of medieval knighthood. This code prescribed a set of ethical principles and virtues that knights were expected to uphold. Honesty, loyalty, courage, generosity, and fairness were among the key values enshrined in chivalry. The training of a knight began at an early age. Boys of noble birth would be sent to the castles of lords or to the households of knights for instruction in martial arts, horsemanship, and the principles of chivalry. This education aimed to mold them into honorable and skilled warriors. The ceremony of dubbing was a significant moment in a knight's life. It involved a ritual in which the knight-to-be would kneel before a lord, who would then strike him lightly with a sword on the shoulder or neck, symbolizing the conferment of knighthood. The knight's armor, known as plate armor, underwent significant advancements during the medieval period. Made of interconnected metal plates, it provided excellent protection on the battlefield. Plate armor was expensive and reserved for knights and nobles due to its cost and the skill required for its creation. The weaponry of medieval knights consisted of a range of arms suited for different purposes. The primary weapon was the lance, a long spear used in mounted combat. Knights also wielded swords, maces, axes, and daggers, each serving a specific role in battle. In addition to their military role, knights played a significant part in the social structure of medieval society. They formed the backbone of the feudal system, pledging their loyalty and service to their lords in exchange for land and protection. Knights were expected to adhere to a strict code of conduct in their interactions with others. They were to treat women with respect and courtesy, protect the weak and defenseless, and show magnanimity toward their enemies. The concept of courtly love, closely associated with knights, emphasized the idealized love between a knight and a noble woman. Knights were expected to demonstrate their devotion, humility, and unwavering loyalty to their chosen lady. Knights participated in jousting tournaments, which served as displays of skill and valor. These events allowed knights to showcase their prowess, win honor and glory, and gain favor of noble ladies. Medieval knights played a vital role in warfare, forming the core of the cavalry. Their mobility, discipline, and superior training made them formidable adversaries on the battlefield. The charge of heavily armored knights could break enemy formations and inspire fear. One of the most famous orders of knights was the Knights Templar. Established in the early 12th century, they were a military religious order committed to protecting Christian pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land during the Crusades. The decline of the medieval knight began with the advent of gunpowder and the development of firearms. The effectiveness of armor and the mounted charge diminished, altering the dynamics of warfare and leading to the rise of infantry. Despite their eventual decline, the legacy of knights and chivalry endured. Their ideals and stories continued to captivate the imagination and influence literature, art, and popular culture for centuries to come. Heraldry, the system of identifying knights and noble families through distinctive symbols and designs, played an essential role in medieval society. Coats of arms, shields, and banners adorned with unique heraldic devices served to identify knights on the battlefield and establish their noble lineage. Knights and their chivalric ideals permeated medieval literature. Tales of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, as well as the chivalric romances, celebrated the virtues of knights and their quests for honor, justice, and love. Knights were often depicted in illuminated manuscripts, tapestries, and sculptures. 
These representations captured the grandeur and valor associated with knighthood, providing visual narratives of their exploits and serving as a means of inspiration for both nobles and commoners. The medieval tournament, a display of martial skills and chivalric ideals, also contributed to the cultural significance of knights. These events, filled with jousting, melee combat and mock battles, brought together knights from different regions, fostering camaraderie and the exchange of military techniques. Beyond their military and social roles, knights were influential in shaping the legal system of the Middle Ages. Trial by combat, a judicial practice that determined guilt or innocence through armed combat, relied heavily on the expertise and reputation of knights. Knights also played diplomatic roles, serving as emissaries and ambassadors on behalf of their lords and kings. Their noble status and reputation for honor and integrity made them trusted representatives in matters of negotiation and diplomacy. The legacy of medieval knights extended beyond the Middle Ages. In the Renaissance and subsequent periods, the ideal of the chivalric knight continued to resonate. Literary works such as Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen and Miguel de Cervantes' Don Quixote explored the themes of chivalry and the complexities of the knightly ideal. In modern times, the figure of the medieval knight continues to capture the imagination. Whether in literature, film or gaming, knights and their chivalric code remain popular subjects, reminding us of a bygone era of honor, bravery and noble aspirations. Medieval knights were central figures in the social, military and cultural landscape of the Middle Ages. Through their adherence to the code of chivalry, their skill in combat, their distinctive armor and weaponry, their influence on heraldry, literature and art, as well as their enduring legacy, knights left an indelible mark on history. Their legacy serves as a reminder of the enduring power of noble ideals and the pursuit of a higher standard of conduct. The image of the knight continues to inspire and fascinate, reminding us of the timeless virtues of honor, courage and loyalty.